Hello everybody and welcome to another Shader Graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this triplanar shading or mapping uh, in which you can assign three different textures on top, bottom, left, right and forward, backward. You can also uh, change how sharp do you want the blend between them to be or specifically the top uh, effect on it as you can see and this is uh, usually used for uh, um, large terrains where you can just uh, select let's say dirt for the sides and then for the top maybe uh, a grass or you can go with uh, just a static color and use that so let's just jump into it all right so here's our scene and I have this ball and this terrain mesh um, I already created a PBR shader PBR graph and uh, created a material out of it and um, assigned the material for both the, uh, the ball and for the terrain let's take a look at this um, all what I did was to create three textures and two properties that we will use later and these textures I just uh, connected them to this sample texture 2D so the whole idea is that we need um, we need a position node first uh, and it's this is going to be object and let's uh, split it and then let's create uh, vector 2's one from X and Y another one from X and Z and another one from Y and Z and then connect each one of these to one of your UVs for each texture. So, um, basically, what we are doing is basically get the X and well, unwrap this texture based on X and Y, right? And so X is like forward, backward, or well, X is left and right, and then Y is um, up and down. So, left, right, and then Y is up and down, right? Um, and that means that it's going to be facing this, this, uh, this face and the one behind it. So, um, this is our first side. And then the top is going to be based on the X, which is, uh, left, right, and Z, which is forward, backward, which is going to cover the top and the bottom. And then the last one is, uh, Y and, uh, Z the Y is uh, top bottom Z is forward backward um, which means it's going to cover the left and right faces um, now to blend all of these together we are going to need the vector the normal vector of this object also an object space um, and we also want to split this and you can uh, well, before splitting it, we would need to uh, plug it to a power. We can uh, actually let's let's do an absolute first, and then to the power node, and then we will use our blend sharpness for the other part of the power. And then after that, we would uh, connect this to um, a normalize. Normalize node, which then connects to this one. Now, for each one of these, we will multiply what it doesn't have. So, the first one doesn't have the Z. So, if we do this, multiply this by the Z, you will see that it will show you the front and the back 
um, and you can actually connect this one here and we can see the front and the back why can't I change this uh, whatever you can see the the front and the back um, and we will do the same thing for the rest of them so create a multiply node uh, connect this one here and this one is missing the Y so connect Y in here and then another one for the last one and it's missing the X so connect the X to it and then just add everything together add this with this and then whoops and then add this with the last one and let's use that now well that's that's kind of weird um okay let's go back to the scene view and now let's choose something different for the side you can see for this and this side we have the side 2 and then here and there we have the side 1 and top and bottom we have the top and you can use this sharpness blend to specify how sharp are they blending together it's probably a, a good um, it's probably better to uh, add maximum and minimum because below some values you will have some weird stuff but nonetheless uh, this is how it works and this is pretty good right um, let's go back to this for both sides and let's choose something like this now you can see you might want to change for for something like a terrain you want, want might want to change the effect on the top only without affecting the the left and right uh sharpness and if you go to to a low value you would see that everything is just blending together in a weird way um so to do that what we need to do is um let's see so after we do the power we will do a um multiply by a vector 3 and we will have for x and z1 which will not change anything but the y we will have this other value the other parameter and we shall use that instead and then save that go outside go back to the scene and now you can see that you can change this value for the top only you can also see it here Um, so that's it you can also uh, just arbitrarily obviously use some um, so for the top one you can just use some color and let's go with uh, green because it's grass and throw that in instead of the texture and you will have green on top so that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you wanna uh, support this channel check the links in the description I have some assets in the asset store of unity um, and have a nice one